Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my fitness channel. Today we are doing a fitness vlog and it's going to mostly revolve around my favorite thing, which is food. And you guys seem to really like these style videos as well. So around once a month, I try and go through my kitchen, organize things, make sure I have enough of all of the essentials. I really honestly don't spend that much money anymore on groceries. I just got back from the grocery store and I spent $55 and I actually got like a couple more extra things than I normally do. So normally I spend around like 40 to $50 at the grocery store every week, which I feel like is pretty good for someone who eats you know, different types of meals. I'm not just eating super plain, boring things. And y'all know I'm also someone who's like a little bit extra. Like I'm not the most basic girl when it comes to food. I like trying different things, plant-based options, more fun drinks. Like I just, I like it all. So I wanted to share with you guys in this video how I grocery shop on a budget because it's just something that I can't justify anymore spending a ton of money on. It's necessary, but I don't wanna overspend in that category. I would rather use that money towards other things in my life. And I think a lot of people can relate to that as well. So I'm gonna share with you guys in this video how I do all of that, how I keep my spending to a minimum, how I organize my kitchen, what are like things that I always have in my kitchen that I don't normally have to buy because I already have them, just everything kitchen related. So I didn't know this was coming today, but Built Bar sent me a re-up of my mixed box, which is my favorite. I like variety. I like switching things up. I get bored really easily. So it's nice to have so many options and I wanted to open it on camera. Even though I have some left over from my other Built Bar box, I just want to open up the fresh one and show you guys. So yeah, thank you to Bill Bar for sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't been watching my videos recently or you're new here, I love Bill Bar. They're protein bars, but they don't taste like a typical protein bar. It has a different type of texture to it that you wouldn't expect from a protein bar, but it works so well and it's so delicious. I wanna open this up correctly. I don't wanna mess it up. Beautiful. All the Bilt Bars a girl could ever need. <laughs> the great thing about Bilt Bar is they are really good macros on them and they have so many different flavors. No matter what you like, if you like fruity, if you like chocolate, if you like peanut butter, they have a flavor for you and they're always coming out with limited edition flavors as well. They have a ton of options, which is one of my favorite parts about them is that you can never get bored when they have that many flavors. I always get questions about what my favorite flavors are. Lately, I've been really liking the raspberry and the coconut, but every single video I film with them, it changes every time because I always like rediscover a flavor and I'm like, oh, this is so good. And then I'm hooked on that one for a little while, but they honestly are all good. I'm never disappointed. The consistency of good flavors is very impressive. These ones are a little bit cold, which is nice. I'm gonna have my raspberry one. They literally look like a candy bar. It's crazy. Y'all see this right now? He knows he's not allowed to do that. I have a Bilt Bar every single day. They taste like desserts. They're so good. So I'll leave my link down below. Definitely make sure to go check it out. See all the flavors for yourselves and decide what you want. If I were to recommend anything, I would say just get the mix box at first because you never really know what you're gonna like the most. Thank you so much to Bilt Bar for sponsoring today's video. I'm your biggest fan. And now I guess let's just get into the grocery haul. All of my groceries are in this one bag. I literally every single time I go to the grocery store buy a new reusable bag because I forget them in my car every single time I go. Anybody else? So that's why I always have the tag on them when I come home because I have to buy a new one every time because I refuse to use the paper bags because then I would just have to make like 50,000 trips up to my apartment. But I'm going to unload everything inside and we will go through a quick little grocery haul of what I get on a weekly basis. All right, here's a quick overview of everything I get at the grocery store as one person. This is $50 worth of groceries right here. I would say the most expensive thing that I got is the sandwich meat considering, you know, this is like 10 bucks combined. Lately I've been craving sandwiches, so I decided to get some white American cheese and then some chicken breast. I always try and get the cheapest one because I'm just one person, as I've said a million times, so I don't need 
a lot and I still want it so I just try and get the smallest portion that they have prepackaged. I got some guac. I always try and get again like the smallest size that they have. Some baby arugula. Lately I've just been obsessed with arugula. Been on arugula kick for like two months now so I had to get some of that. This is new for me. I've never tried this before. Let me know if you guys have had it. It's a vegan. So Sorry, my cats are being so stupid right now, but it's a vegan ground beef. Um, and normally I get one from Trader Joe's, but I wanted to give this one from Light Life a try. I love naan, but I don't go through it quick enough. So I got these little mini ones to have with some tomato soup. This is my favorite bread. I always try and get at least one bread. It's from Shaw's. It's called the Farmer Bread. I don't really know what type of bread it actually is, but it's so good like this avocado toast with this bread phenomenal y'all know i've been loving bagels so i decided to get a cheddar bagel just to have as a little treat if i want one in the morning i had to re-up on my new favorite creamer the fruity pebbles one from international delight i know it sounds so weird but it's so good and then this is new i at least i think so it's new to me i've never seen it before starbucks vanilla iced coffee i'm excited about that i have never seen that before so when i saw it i had to grab it as for produce, I really keep it super minimal. It's sad, but if I buy too much, I just won't use it all. So I keep it as minimal as possible. I got a tomato, one big russet potato, and two avocados. I always get one that's nowhere near ripe and one that's pretty almost ready to use. That way I can space out my uses with them and not have them all be ready to use at once. And then I don't know if I said this, I got a yellow onion. I always go through onions so quick because I use it in everything I cook. And the last thing, I don't normally get these, but I kind of wanted to make some breakfast potatoes this week. So I got some baby yellow potatoes, which are always nice to have. And that's everything that I got for the week. This is plenty of food for me. You guys will see based off of what I have in my pantry why I can make this work. But for now, this is the grocery haul. Hi guys, interrupting this food haul slash organization video to say I am going to the gym. I want to document it because I want people to know that I actually do work out. It's been a really chaotic Monday to say the least, so I'm only going down to do 12, 3.30, so I'm not going to vlog it. But just letting you guys know that I do work out pretty much every single day. I've been trying to push myself and so far so good. I've really been much more consistent so far in 2021, but I want to up it to like the next level and really push myself when I'm in the gym. But I thought I'd show you guys my gym outfits really quick, not that it's anything crazy. These leggings, I always get questions about these whenever I post about them. They're from Lululemon. They're like a very subtle cheetah pattern. They're super cute, super comfortable. They're Lululemon aligns and they just feel literally like a second skin. I. I don't know if I said it, but I have my period right now. So these are like my leggings that I wear when it's that time of the month because they are super comfortable. They're not meant for working out, I'm pretty sure, but I don't care. I wear them to work out because I love them that much. Sports bra underneath that's also from Lulu. And this jacket I featured in my Amazon activewear try on haul, which you guys haven't seen that. I'll leave it linked down below. I share a lot of really awesome leggings, tops, jackets, everything. And this jacket was featured in that video. And it's so cute and very trendy, like the little cropped tight zip up jacket. It's really cute and then you can unzip it too and wear it like this, which I think is equally as cute. And then I just have on my Nike sneakers. But yeah, that's the fit. I'm gonna go get a quick workout in, make it a priority, you guys. If you wanna see results, you gotta put in the work. So it's the next afternoon, but I'm gonna show you guys a before this is so embarrassing. It's like chaos, but I know where everything is. But this is a before of my pantry. A lot going on down on the bottom one as well. And then if we open up the top one, it's just equally as chaotic. The top shelf is good. It's just like storage up there, but everything else needs a lot of work. So on my own, I'm gonna take everything out and just like throw out what, you know, is like mostly empty or not good anymore, whatever. And then I'll show you guys everything that we have left after that, which probably won't be that much stuff considering I like never use anything in here. All right, I'm not gonna take everything out since I don't need to absolutely take it all out, but I went through 
and organized as much as I could in here and then look at my counters. I've been snacking on all of this chocolate that I had that I didn't know I had in there. Um, so guilty as charged, but I have a bunch of other things over here and then a bunch over here. Y'all think I was kidding when I said I love soup. These are all just backups that I have, but I took everything out and as you can see, it's definitely not as chaotic already but i'm gonna go through and organize everything and then i will talk to you guys about all of my essentials that i always have in my pantry okay listen i have no idea why i hoard things like food like there could be one chip left in a bag and i keep it in my pantry instead of just throwing the bag out or like eating the last chip and then throwing the bag out like i don't know why i do that but things look so much better wow one whole trash bag later of course my cats are like what is this but one whole trash bag later we got all of the empty bottles and bags of things out of the way and the pantry looks so much better this is no pinterest pantry because i don't have all those like organizers and stuff i just i don't think it's worth it for me personally my lifestyle but this feels so much better. I can see everything for the most part that I need on a daily basis and it'll just make cooking and knowing what I have that much easier. As for essentials that I didn't show in the grocery haul, I'm just one person, but I do like to have options. So this is like my little carb section. So it's all of my pastas, my rice, all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, I have like quinoa. I have a couple boxes of pasta, a bag of pasta, some spaghetti. I have three things of rice. That's just the 90 second rice. So you just pop it in the microwave. That's really easy. I always like to have rice and pasta because it's just a good backup as you can use it for the base of a meal or you can use it for your whole meal it's really great just to have these extra things and then i do have some basmati and jasmine rice so i have a bunch of different options up there definitely have a very large supply of it which is nice so i won't have to like every time i go to the grocery store buy this stuff because i have so much of it so it's just nice to bulk up on the things that you use a lot Speaking of bulk up, obviously I have a Built Bar store back there as well as a Liquid IV store. Y'all know I love both of them, so have to have them. Have to have a ton of options with those. And then I have my breads right here. So I showed you guys all of these yesterday, but I love having fresh bread. That's something that like is a non-negotiable for me. It just goes with so many things, but I try now and minimize how much bread items I'm buying because they do go bad quicker. Just as an example, I used to buy bread and then I'd buy a bunch of bagels and then I'd buy English muffins and then I'd buy naan and then, you know, like I would just, the list would go on and on and it's like you can't eat that much bread in the time that it goes bad. So I limit myself to my favorite loaf of bread, a bagel or two, and then I get the mini naans to keep it more minimal okay because just too much you'll end up wasting food it seems like you eat a lot when you're at the grocery store but then you get home and you're like this is all gonna go bad way too fast <laughs> let's see in this one i have a lot of overflow of spices because i have a lot of seasoning spices all that good stuff that don't fit in my cabinet so the overflow is here um one thing i always do is if i'm buying olive oil i just buy the giant thing of it from trader joe's it's really not that expensive at trader joe's compared to most places and the giant bottle of it will last me a really long time um, I have my honey, my spray oil that I didn't show in the haul, peanut butter back there. I always have a ton of oatmeal. I put all of my chocolates back there so that way I know where they are, but they're a little bit more hard to reach, hard to access. <laughs> that way I don't snack on them too much. Coffee, and yeah, I think that's it for this cabinet or for this section. So this one down here is like my snack section. So I love having snacks on deck because if I don't have some things that aren't the best for me, like the chocolate too, I will just go crazy and order something super unhealthy. So it's nice to have little snacks that I can reach for when I'm craving something salty or sweet and it gets rid of that craving without being like too overboard. So I have pistachios. I love rice cakes. This is a good healthy-ish alternative snack with some peanut butter. This is so good. 
um, pretzel thins. These organic garlic non crackers from Trader Joe's are so good. I love them so much. I only have to have like six or seven and then they kind of like fill me up if I'm looking for a snack. I recently discovered these, um, not so healthy. Definitely not the healthiest thing in the world, but they're so good. Four cheese and herb cheese crispers from Ritz. I got them at Target. They are bomb. This is a really good popcorn. I have like microwavable popcorn back there, some cereal. That's mostly it for in here. And then all that stuff back there is just like salad toppings and stuff. And then as for down here, other things, I have a ton of alcohol back there. Y'all know I'm not really drinking right now. So it's just holding its place back there until maybe summer hits. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll start casually drinking by summer. We'll have to see how the vibes are. But anyways, down here is more of like my stock area so i keep as i showed you guys a lot of soup um soup is a no-brainer for me to have in my pantry all the time because it's such an easy dinner lunch whatever and one of these i think it's like five bucks and there's like four or five servings in here so it just makes life a lot easier i have tomato soup tomato basil soup and creamy butternut squash soup which i've never had before let me know if you guys have had it before and if it's good i love this brand pacific they make really good pre-packaged soup um, and I like this container more than a can because it's, you know, you can shut it and keep it in your fridge and it lasts over time. I showed you guys the potatoes yesterday and then I always have a bunch of cans of beans. So I have black beans, chickpeas, some tuna. Um, I said chickpeas, right? Garbanzo beans. I always have some extra pasta sauce. So never had this one before. Calibrian chili spicy i'm excited to try that at some point and then some fire roasted diced tomatoes but just having like cans on deck because they don't go bad for obviously a really long time it's nice to have them in your pantry just in case you need a side to a dish or a base to a dish they're good to have and i think that's everything that i have in my pantry and that i wanted to go through i'm going to quickly organize my fridge and then i'll show you guys the essentials that I have in there as well. I don't think I've shown my face yet today, so hi, hello. Um, we're about to go through my fridge, and the one thing I will say, one of my biggest tips if you are one person shopping, or even two people, do not buy too much produce. Do not overbuy in the produce section, because that's something I used to do, and I just recently finally accepted that maybe I should stop doing it. Um, I need to go quick because my fridge is open. I should probably talk about what's in there, but do not buy strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, apples, oranges, pineapple, all the things that you see that you know you like at once. What I like to do is pick a particular, if I get fruit, I don't normally get fruit, but if I do pick out a particular fruit of the week, strawberries or pineapple it is for the week, or you can do two, but don't go overboard. Pick out a particular vegetable of the week because if not, you're just gonna waste and you're gonna feel bad and then you're gonna be mad at yourself because you tried to grocery shop to save money and not eat out and then you ended up wasting money because you overbought. So I always like to underbuy in the fresh produce. I definitely overbuy in the pantry stock up as you guys saw and in frozen vegetables and fruits because so much easier for one person. But anyways, let me go through um, what my fridge is looking like. So here's an overview. The one thing that's not so good about this fridge is there isn't a lot of storage on the sides for sauces and like dips and all of that. And y'all know I am a sauce girl, okay? I love me some sauce. So there isn't as much space for that. So there is a little bit of overflow of that in the actual main part of the fridge. But over here, let's see, I have some jalapenos, Parmesan, some jams, pasta sauces, more Parmesan, mustard. These are just like things that I always have in my fridge that if I don't show them in a grocery haul, it's because I already have them. Tons of hot sauces. This is my current favorite, the yellow bird sriracha bomb. I obviously have Valentina, some mayo, different like ranches and stuff. Like there's a bunch of stuff in there. Okay. I like options. The good thing about sauces is they don't go bad as quick. So I recommend buying a variety of sauces. You can have them in your fridge for a long time and they can easily make a meal taste way different, you know, completely change the vibe of a vegetable with a different type of sauce. You don't have to buy like a million different vegetables in order to achieve 
a different taste. Same thing goes for sauces over here. I have more ranch, tons of dressings, garlic sauce, Italian dressing, barbecue sauce, sesame garlic, marinade, hot sauces galore. I always have butter and garlic, minced garlic on deck always. And then this is my favorite butter, the Earth Balance butter. I don't remember buying this one, but it's in here. Um, over here, I love me some drinks, okay? So I have my Brita, and then behind there, there is just some leftovers, but I have Pineapple Perrier, my new obsession. So good, you guys. I wanna try out all the different Perrier flavors. I hope I'm saying that right, Perrier. I don't know, I took French in high school, but it's just in one ear, out the other. So hopefully, I'm not butchering that, but the pineapple one is bomb. I love Perrier because the the texture of the sparkling water, it just does it for me. Um, and then I got these recently at Target, the La Colombe Chocolate Milk on Draft. Just like a fun drink to have. I don't know, I had one on Sunday, just something different so i like to have more fun drinks over here and then y'all know my soup obsession i have a couple back there that i'm working through um i have a couple coffees right here because i like having iced coffee sometimes so i always have those i just bought this one i showed you guys yesterday but i did have this in my fridge i like to have backups just in case i run out i always have some type of milk so right now i have oat milk and then my creamer is you guys know the fruity pebbles so have all that over there my little coffee station the most important part down here more leftovers that i'll probably have tonight and then i have i don't know pickles a dip some arugula i showed you guys i always have eggs in this little container i don't go through eggs quick at all though so i have these here you know for quite a while um i have a bunch of these smoothies this brand sent me a bunch of smoothies as you can see and they are so good they sell them at target and i'm obsessed with them they taste amazing and they have so many fun flavors this is an overflow of sauces just more you know you know you guys know the drill by now down here i have some hummus guacamole salsa i always keep my tortillas in the fridge because they just last a little bit longer when they're in there and it's nice because they're you know such minimal space taken up so have those as for vegetables, I keep a lot of onion because I cook with onion a lot. So we have a giant red onion. Look at how big that is. Two yellow onions, a shallot, some zucchini, banana peppers always. I think that's everything in there. And then over here, I have peppers. So I have these mini sweet peppers, some jalapenos, and some bell peppers. As you guys can see, I don't have any fresh fruit, which probably isn't a good thing but I just don't eat it fast enough. Fresh fruit goes bad in like a day, it's crazy. And then down here is all of my cheeses and cream cheese, all that stuff. Yeah, as you can see, I have an abundance of cheeses and then I showed you guys I got the turkey or chicken, whatever it is yesterday, some beefless ground beef. What is that, Mexican, extra sharp cheddar. I have it all, so that is everything that I keep in my fridge. I It seems like a lot of stuff, but it is, pretty minimal compared to how much stuff I used to have. As for my freezer, I didn't even look in here. I don't know what's in here. I rarely go for stuff in my freezer, but it's nice to know that it's here in case I need it. So cauliflower gnocchi, of course. I have some of the Trader Joe's fried rice. Let's see, asparagus, mixed vegetables orange chicken in case i'm really craving something i go through these hash browns so quick so i only have one left of those some corn edamame shrimp oh yeah that's another thing i always buy a lot of my meats if they come frozen or seafood i buy it frozen because it lasts so much better as one person so you can see down here i have a couple I think I only have two left of these um, frozen salmon fillets, which is so nice that they're in individual packages. I can just keep them frozen, and when I wanna use one, I'll thaw it out in the fridge beforehand, but it just makes life so much more simple for a girl who's just by herself that doesn't eat a ton of meat and seafood. Let's see, I have some frozen bread, a couple popsicles, I have some waffles down there, more gnocchi, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, you guys, so that is everything that is like a kitchen essential for me. I have a couple tips that I wanted to give you if you do live alone or you're planning to move out soon or maybe you're in college, just a couple tips that I have for when 
you go grocery shopping to budget yourself, plan accordingly and all that good stuff. So number one tip is definitely to write down meal plans beforehand. Don't just come up with a list of all these ingredients and all these things that you like. Come up with a meal plan. For breakfast this day, I'm gonna eat this. For breakfast this whole week, I'm gonna have this. Or for dinner for the first three nights, I'm gonna have this. Come up with a plan because if you don't have a plan, you're planning to fail. So walk into the grocery store knowing what you're gonna be eating for the week, not just like I said, oh, I like shrimp, so I'm gonna buy shrimp. What are you gonna make with the shrimp? Figure that out before you step foot in the grocery store. The next thing I'll say, if you know that you're not buying a lot of beverages or you know milk or things like that that are heavy, walk around the grocery store with a basket instead of a cart. I do that a lot because if I have a cart, I will go up and down every aisle 10 times looking at everything new. Oh my God, is that a new flavor? Is this a new thing? Oh my God, let me just buy 10 of this. Let me just get a bunch of this. You don't need it. So if you're walking around with a basket, you're not gonna wanna lug a bunch of unnecessary stuff around with you. You'll just get what you need and be in and out. So that's something that I've been doing a lot more recently. Plus it helps strengthen your arms a little bit. Buy frozen. I know people always say like fresh, not frozen, but if you're by yourself, it just makes more sense. If you don't eat huge portions of food always, it just makes more sense to buy things frozen because you know that they'll last longer or you can buy chicken and maybe put two chicken breasts in the fridge put the rest in the freezer and save them for when you want to use them so that way nothing goes bad and the last tip that i have that i can finally say because i did it myself is to keep your kitchen organized you want to be able to know what you have you want to be able to see it all you want to know okay i have bread that i need to use up so maybe i should incorporate it into some extra meals you want to be able to see everything so keep things organized keep things clean and you should be good. I feel like this is my first ever video that I've done where it's just like specifically like all about food and how I grocery shop, how I do everything. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. I go bring my trash bags full of empty stuff down to the dumpster, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs it up, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. But I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video very soon.